Hello, Year 7, and welcome back for Lesson 2 of Periodic Table. Uh, awesome to talk to you again. Um, I hope you're doing all right. And today's lesson is an absolute cracker. You're going to be drawing some atoms, and it's a fantastic skill that I hope you walk away knowing exactly how to do this. So all you need for today's lesson is a pen, a pencil, some paper to write on. If you've printed the new knowledge and slot, that's brilliant. If not, do not worry. I need to print anything off. And finally, you need a period table, which is on K17 of the SRBs, I think. So, before we get started, it is a retrieval. So, slide number one is on cells. Pause the video. How much do you remember? How'd you get on, guys? So, I'll check your answers now. Again, if you need to pause the video to revise, you can do so now. Slide number two is on last lesson. So, pause the video. What can you remember? Off you go. So, how do you get on? Check your answers if you need to now. If you need to make a revision card, do feel free. And the final slides again on last lesson. So pause the video, what can you remember? And again, how do you get on? If you need to pause the video to make a revision card, you can do so now. Now last lesson, I asked you to do some proton electrons and neutron numbers. Here are the nine I gave you, and here are the answers to those nine. Check your answers. How do you get on? You also have three zone questions to do. So question one look like this. So here are the answers in red. Question two, I've put the red crosses for the correct answers. Check your answers. And finally, question three, here are your answers for that as well. So again, some really good slot. Hopefully you found that really did really well. If you didn't, again, contact your teacher any questions, but well done. Now today is a massive lesson. I want you to be able to draw the first 20 atoms. That means from hydrogen, which is number one, all the way through from helium, lithium, uh, neon, magnesium, all the way up to number 20, which is calcium, just here. So there are 20 you need to be able to draw. Now to do that, you need to know the key rules, and that's my job. So what I want you to do is have a look at these three pictures here. These are all perfectly good atoms. They're all drawn a little bit differently, but they all have something in common. So what do they have in common is the question. So let's do it together now. So here they are on the piece of paper. Now the key things I'm hoping you notice is the first thing is the electrons are drawn in shells. Okay. And that is really important. And actually, the second rule we need to know from this, if you look, the protons and neutrons aren't all drawn. So you don't need to draw the protons and neutrons. Because if we did that, you're doing 23 dots. It's quite an effort, really. And the final thing you might notice with the electrons is that if we look at the, the first shell, the first shell only ever has two. So that's a really good bit to move on with. So the first shell can only have two electrons. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw one of the biggest ones with you. But then I'm going to come up with the four rules moving forward. You're going to draw the other 20 for us lessons. So this one is number two. So let's draw potassium together. Now, potassium. How do we draw an atom of potassium? And the first thing you need to do is go to the periodic table. And potassium has these two numbers here. Now, we are only, when drawing atoms, bothered about this number here, the atomic number, because that tells us the number of electrons. That means potassium has 19 electrons. Now, we don't need to do the protons and neutrons, so I'm going to draw my nucleus as a little black dot there. Now, when it comes to drawing atoms, we draw shells. Now, I've already said it, but 
but the first shell we can only have two electrons now i'm drawing them as crosses because it's really clear to see where they are so two there rule number two when you draw a new shell okay this shell can have up to eight electrons so we need 90 we've got two so far so i'm going to draw one two three four five six seven eight now you'll notice that i'm filling my shells before i make a new shell that's another key rule you must fill a shell before you draw a new one and i've drawn my electrons like this so in pairs it's easy to count. So I count back, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten electrons. But I need nineteen. So I draw another shell. Now the third shell can also only have eight electrons in it. Well, I've got ten, I need nineteen. So I'm going to draw eight more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, let's count up. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I need 19. So I need to draw one more shell. So I'm going to draw my final shell here. Just like this. Make it nice and, well, sort of neat. 18, but I need 19. So there's one on its own like that. And that is how you draw potassium. So we count it up. We've got 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1 on the outside, 19. So potassium looks like that. That's one of the biggest ones you have to do. Now, if before we have a proper go at this, this is the important question here. In terms of electron arrangement, what is the maximum number of electrons allowed in the first shell? On the first four shells, sorry. So the first shell, we've already said it a couple of times, you are allowed only two electrons on a second shell you are allowed eight electrons on the third shell you are also only allowed eight electrons now the fourth shell you only ever have to draw a maximum of two here but actually, on this one, you are allowed up to 18 electrons. You'll never have to do that many, but it's just a, a little interesting fact for you. So, again, spend a couple minutes now just working through the sheet, remembering it, testing yourself, embedding it, and really understanding it. And then we're going to move on to the slop in a second. So, your challenge today for us the lesson is you can either print off the sheet of slot I provided or work on the screen, that's fine. But I want you to draw the first 20 atoms. So that is from hydrogen, helium, all the way up to calcium. We've done potassium, but can you draw the others? So again, give it a really good go, use the rules I provided, and then tomorrow we'll go through the answers with you. Okay, so give it a go. Just drawing some atoms for me. Um, and tomorrow we'll look at the periodic table in more detail, the sections, and what all the sections say about the periodic table. So before then, do some retrieval if needed with little cards. Um, complete the stop exercise from today, draw the first 20 atoms. And then finally, share with you other presenters if you haven't done so already. Have a good time, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>